Avengers own woman in the yellow sweater. Give it up for Martha Louise. Woo! Because I'm a female, I only get 73% of the microphone stand. <laughs> You guys look amazing. I'm so glad to see you. And I can see you because I got new glasses. Are these great? Oh, they are so sassy. They are so fun, but I'm embarrassed to say they're bifocals. I'm that age. They're bifocals. But fortunately, I was able to get the kind that didn't have the line across them. They're called progressives. I couldn't afford the Republican ones. <laughs> But they don't have the hard line. Those are the Democrats. <laughs> I was thinking of getting the libertarian bifocals, but they won't do anything for anybody. <laughs> Finally, I looked into the ones for the moral majority. They don't make bifocals. They can only see one way. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm so glad to see you guys. I have been planning for this and excited about this, deciding what to wear. And I decided no matter what I do, I still look like the cool aunt. <laughs> I'm just that cool aunt, you know, the one that'll let you drink at her house, but only ever has wine in a box. <laughs> oh, she's a great relative to have, don't get me wrong. You can always count on her for socks for Christmas, and you can probably hit her up for bail money or a ride across the state line to get to Planned Parenthood. <laughs> Y'all better laugh at that. That could cost me $10,000. <laughs> and then when she picks you up from the overstate trip, she insists on playing Maroon 5 all the way back in her Fiat. But that's just my vibe, friendly, you know? And, and weird things happen when you look this friendly. Like I'm standing in line at the grocery store with my... Okay, my boxed wine, whatever. <laughs> and this woman behind me, this little 20-something, she's like, oh my gosh, can you just watch this for a second? I forgot something. And she hands me her baby. She hands me her baby like it's a martini, stirred, not shaken, please. And I'm really concerned because I've already got 10 items and I'm in the express lane. <laughs> And I am not giving up my gluten-free ice cream or my boxed wine. <laughs> but as weird as it was, that baby and I, we bonded. She was so cute. We sort of telepathically agreed that her mom was a complete twat. <laughs> <laughs> Getting older is inevitable. Looking old is unacceptable. But I got carded. <laughs> Okay, it was at brunch, and it wasn't for the mimosas that I ordered, but it was proof to little Becky that I was not old enough for the senior discount. Thank you very much. <laughs> I was willing to spend the extra 10% on my Rudy Tootie Fresh and Fruity to make sure I didn't look like I was a member of AARP. <laughs> now, I don't know why she thought this. Was it the side part? The skinny jeans? The dentures on the table? <laughs> I was so offended, I took my walker and I left. <laughs> I even went to the gynecologist, and little nurse Tiffany says, How many years ago did you stop having periods? I said, Honey, honey, <laughs> I am such a mess of hormones and PMS, I don't have periods anymore. I have exclamation points. <laughs> so to prove it, I dumped out my handbag and I had like three boxes of tampons, two chocolate bars and a nine millimeter. <laughs> and she says, what's the gun for? And I said, cramps. <laughs> it's hard though to get older because I used to be really hot. <laughs> okay, I was a hoe. <laughs> I even got called a thought. T-H-O-T, -T, that hoe over there. Now at my age, I'm just an afterthought. 
and even worse, someone called me that woman over 30. <laughs> yeah, I'm a twat. <laughs> but I celebrate getting older, honestly. I love it. I can do anything I want. I've even decided that I'm just going to go for broke, like the other day. I misread a sign, and I walked into this place called The Perfect Ten. And I thought, what a cute name for a nail salon. But it turned out to be a cute name for a strip club. <laughs> the bad news is I didn't get my mani-pedi, but the good news is I got on stage and made $1,500. <laughs> I would have made more if I'd gotten the mani-pedi. <laughs> but I think we should open a strip club with more mature dancers. Woo! Yeah, it would celebrate stretch marks instead of daddy issues. <laughs> you pull up, you open the door, and you smell Virginia Slims, Aquanet, Bourbon, and Chanel Number no. 5. <laughs> ah, Nana. Oh, and there she is <laughs> on the main stage. Well, somebody's Nana <laughs> working the walker on the main stage. She's dancing to the Rolling Stones because apparently she used to date Keith Richards, dad. <laughs> so you walk in and the dancer comes up and says, honey, honey, welcome to leave it to beavers. <laughs> Do you want to sit in croaking or non-croaking? <laughs> listen, listen. Come on, sit down. I've got a great little table for you. You're seated at a table with doilies and little teddy bears. And she comes up and she says, honey, honey, what do you want to drink? You want an old fashioned? Here I am. <laughs> no, seriously, seriously. Honey, honey, bring me a Harvey wall banger, would you? This time use the decent orange juice. I need the calcium. I almost broke a hip getting off the stage. So, you want a table dance? It's $20. You want me to keep my clothes on? It's 40 <laughs> Oh, look at him run. <laughs> but I think we'd be amazing dancers because I have something between my breasts that a woman in her 20s doesn't. My belly button. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it doesn't matter what age you are. Getting older is inevitable. Looking old, not so great. But growing up is optional. I'm Martha Louise. Thank you.